Hey everybody, good evening. So this came out today in the news. U.S. government website offers advice for nuclear blast. So today is March 2nd, 2022. So it's basically 322. We have another 322 coming up soon on the 22nd. So anyway, Ready Government, a public service website operated by the U.S. government, recently updated its page about a nuclear explosion emergency. The site provides advice for Americans to prepare for disasters and emergencies such as weather events, bioterrorism, and cyber attacks. Although U.S. officials haven't said that a nuclear explosion emergency is on the horizon, the Federal Emergency Management Agency updated its guidance on Friday. So they said, I'm going to add this, with nuclear medicine and internal medicine, they're more or less the same. As above, so below. So space science is the same as your body organs. Nuclear explosions can cause significant damage and casualties from blast heats and radiation. But you can keep your family safe by knowing what to do and being prepared if it occurs, the website says. I would say yes, keep your health up, build up your immune system. Anyway, if a nuclear explosion occurs, people should move inside the nearest building to avoid radiation. Brick or concrete buildings are the best, as well as the basement or the middle of a building. People should try to stay inside for 24 hours and keep their pets inside unless local authorities provide other instructions. To prepare now, people should identify shelter locations near their home, work, and school. The best locations are underground and in the middle of large buildings. Remember what the Bible said about people who hide underground? Okay, anyway, due to the CV-19, many places you may pass on the way to and from work may be closed or may not have regular operating hours, the website says. With the ongoing pandemic, the advice recommends keeping a distance of at least six feet between people from different households. If possible, people should wear masks if sheltering with others who aren't a part of the same household. Yes, because your bio field, your aura, it radiates out six feet. That's the reason. The CDC also provides guidance for going to a public disaster shelter during the pandemic, particularly for severe weather events such as hurricanes. The page was last updated in June 2021. The ready.gov update sparked online conversations over the weekend, particularly around the pandemic-related advice But FEMA said the update was a routine procedure that removed a broken link to another page. You know, they also said that that war that's going on currently was supposed to just be for military drills and not actual war. But, you know, whatever. So the rest of the article. It is not true that the CV social distancing languages was updated in response to the situation with Ukraine-Russia, Jocelyn Rothberg, director of public affairs for FEMA, said in a statement. COVID protocols were originally added in 2020 and pages are now going through reviews to update the language based on new CDC guidelines that were just released, she said. The only updates that were done were updates for links throughout the ready.gov side site. No new language was added or taken off of that particular page. So I would just say stay vigilant. When you hear war, think of your body. Think of your internal health. Think of your your, um, organs as being the space. As we live under this earth dome in this place we call school, that's not technically our home. Wake up.